Greetings, fair earthlings. I am Smelly B, and I'd like to welcome you either to or back to my channel where the topic of conversation is all oh, fragrance, all oh, the goddamn time. <laughs> um, leading with my housekeeping, as always, I'm not an expert, not claiming to be, not training to be. I am just a consumer, just a girl who really, really, since I was tiny, have just loved fragrances. I loved it. I inherited it. I guess I got it from my mama, but I'm not an expert, child. Don't come over here looking for it. Um, I'm not a niche snob. I'm not selling you uh, stuff. I tend not to mention anything over, if I can help it, like 200, 150 even, if I can help it, just because yeah, I like to talk about things that are accessible. Otherwise, it just turns into... It feels weird to me to, you know, just sit and talk about, look what I got, look what I got. I, I, I don't like it. So I like to try and, you know, maintain a particular code of ethics for me. Okay. Um, for those of you who are, you know, who frequent the channel, I've been gone for a little bit and I'm sorry. I, I took a little break um, just because I like to check myself. Haven't started doing reviews. Um, my, my uh, how to say. I want to make sure I'm always checking the pace at which I'm acquiring new things. Like I'm always going to buy fragrance, always have, but haven't started doing reviews and actually discovering that there's a community of people that actually do reviews. So I'm watching everybody's stuff. My, my, my appetite humongous and I'm an obsessive person. Um, extremely compulsive as well. <laughs> so, um, I have to sort of watch it and make sure I don't, uh, it doesn't start to become a horde. You know what I mean? I have to make sure my my psyche is in the right place and I'm not, you know, just, you know, becoming too, you know, just doing things on a whim and, and just acquiring too much. Like, it's, I don't want to have an embarrassment of fragrances, if you will. Okay? Okay. Neither here nor there. Um, I don't have anything special to talk about today, per se. I'm just telling you what I've been wearing while I've been gone. Um, this certainly ain't all of it because I've been gone for a minute, but I can only do so many in a video. So I'm going to try and... Hopefully get back on next week. Hopefully pick up, get back on the horse. We'll see. Okay. Um, so, you know, it's cold. Um, I'm rocking my, my cold weather fragrances. My stuff that's more thick and syrupy and dense and tobacco-y and leathery and oody and just stankin' funky all together. <laughs> it's the time of year for it to, to, uh, to, you know, be more bold and take more risks with your fragrances. I really, really like this time of year. Um... So I'm going to talk to y'all about some of my stuff that is just so stinking good to me. Um, quite literally, because some of them are really challenging fragrances, but that's how I roll. <laughs> um, in no particular order, not ordering these by quality or um, anything of that sort, or, or in order of them being my favorite, nothing of the sort. That's just, I've opened up tabs on Fragrantica, and I'm just going to grab them according to how the tabs are up. Okay. So first up is... Topaz by Judith Lieber. Um, Judith Lieber, I believe, uh, is a, it's a designer brand that they make like, she makes handbags and things of that nature. None of which, I don't own any of them. Um, they're not my style, but um, I was introduced to Judith Lieber by way of More is More, which is that fragrance, I should have pulled it, that it is in that, um, you know those little pins um, we used to have that have all the colors in one big fat pen and you pull the, you push down uh, the little the little sliding thing and it'll give you whatever color you slid down. One of those, it's a fragrance essentially using that same concept where you can, there's a little slider on there based on what you slide, you can mix and spray or isolate um, a particular fragrance. That one has a, a, a floral, a gourmand and a citrus. Beautiful. So I wanted to try more from um, her, her, uh, line of fragrances of which there are several i like the topaz um top notes in this are mango kiwi cassis vermont vermont bergamot <laughs> the mids are myrrh ylang ylang olivenum tithe rose violet leaf water lily jasmine lily of the valley the base is agarwood patchouli guyac wood sandalwood vanilla and musk and cedar Excuse me, chock full of notes, um, as you can see. And I like this. It's like a, it's got like a burnt mango-y, tobacco-y. Slightly peppery kind of thing going on to me. Very, very resinous, really syrupy, sticky in a way. 
I really like this. This is a difficult profile to explain and I, I have not smelled anything like it. So I can't even give you sort of a, a reference in something else to, to, you know, sort of shape your thinking. It is a very unique fragrance. It is mature. Um, I wouldn't recommend this to, I wouldn't take it, spray this on my daughter. She, <laughs> what is that? Like, but for a more mature woman, you may be able to appreciate this, especially this time of year. This is not going to work in the summer. It's a beast. You don't need to spray much of it. But I really, really like this. I got a little... For me to put this much of a dent in anything, you know, I wear it a lot. Because I have so many fragrances. I rotate through them. But I've been I've been enjoying this. Sometimes I'll just wear it around the house. Um, just so I can smell it for myself. But that is Judith Lieber Topaz. Um, what's next up? Oh, Sweet Sweet, 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 sweet Tobacco by 1821 Man Made. This is a men's from a men's line of fragrances. I don't know if they're considered niche or not, but um, the, the brand is 1821 Man Made. Uh, again, this is Sweet Tobacco. Um, top notes in this are red wine. And that is a very, it comes across so interesting here red wine vanilla tonka bean exotic fruits woody notes musk saffron and citruses this is a i don't know i, I like this fragrance up until the deep dry down it gets weird in the deep dry down to me so i end up having to refresh it so that i can start from the top with the part that i like um it is reminiscent in the way to me of Killian's, uh, come on now, what's that one called? Back to Black? I think it is, and that's one of my favorite things. This smells a little like it. Very noticeable differences. The red, not, the red wine note in here is what distinguishes it from Back to Black for me. It's a very, very tangy sort of tart red wine in the top of this mixed with a whole bunch of tobacco and a whole bunch of sweet. It's real... It's dear. It's interesting. It's a very interesting fragrance profile. It's different, but I enjoy it. I have to be in the mood for it though. It has to be very, very cold because th this this fragrance needs boundary. Like it needs to it needs weather that'll arrest the parts of it that go too sticky or too icky. It could become cloying in a way. So I only wear this when it's you know, you know, forty degrees below. You know, sort of forty five and and below. Um. But I like it. Um, male friend of mine likes likes this one a lot. Um, moving on, I've been wearing oh, this one. This one. This I've worn damn near every day for the past. I can't tell you how long, but it, it's been, become my daily grab, even past my, my signature, which is my Sebon Patchouli Lavender Vanilla. This one is quickly... Become, it's creeping up on it, about to become my, my favorite thing. Iris Molly Calm by Mason Crivelli. Oh, I just love this. Mm -hmm. I love this. It is um, Oris Vanilla Leather Galbanum uh, Mastic or Lentis. How do you say that? It's L E N T I S Q U E. I'm not familiar with that as a note. Um, amber, cypress, mimosa, cinnamon, coriander, pink pepper, black currant syrup. Oh, 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 I love this stuff. I love it. It's just perfect to me. Uh, you, if you don't like iris or sort of woody profile, it's got, oh, I just. I love this. I get a lot of compliments when I mean, it works splendidly with my body chemistry. I can't speak to what it's going to do on nobody else, but it works really, really well with me. I do layer it even with my signature uh, fragrance, which is that uh, patchouli lavender vanilla with by Sabon. Wow, magnifique. They work together beautifully. This is one of my favorite things of the, of 2022. Um, another one I, I pulled off my shelf and have been wearing... Very challenging fragrance, very dated. This is not a blind buy. Uh, don't go blind buying this. It's, it's weird. It's old. I like it. I can pull it off because I'm me. Um, <laughs> let me be careful grabbing this. I, I pre-pulled the cap off because it, it, it's really, really hard. Whoever designed this bottle, complete nincompoop because it just doesn't make any sense. It's really, really difficult. I, I, 
I'm assuming the, the thought was you're supposed to be able to grab the ribbon and pull it. But having done that uh, many moons ago, I broke this little needle off the top. So I had to glue it back on. So now I definitely can't. It's, not, it's no longer a functional. I have to like grab at it and try and get the cap off. But at any rate, um, po Poppy Marini by Poppy. Is, I don't know if it's Poppy or Poppy, but Poppy Marini was a designer back in the, you know, uh, little bit ago days. Um, this came out in 1997. Um... The top notes are coffee, geranium, ylang, ylang and bergamot. The mids are heliotrope, coriander, mimosa, and African orange flower. The base notes are sandalwood, vanilla, amber, patchouli, styrax, and vetiver. This is a whole bunch of shit that don't go together. If you want to know the truth, it, uh, it comes across um, in a way like a, like a gassy petroleum kind of smell. Kind of latexy in a way. It's strange. But somehow behind that is it's powdery. You do get a bit of the coffee that's in there. Um, I sprayed it on my hand just before this. Because I can only appreciate it once it's dried down really, really well. And it smells nice in the air. But smelling it up close, my goodness, it's like the gas station. But I like it. I told you I enjoy a challenging fragrance. I like for my fragrances to be a kick in the head. Like, wait, what's that? What is that? What's that? Like, where you can't decide. Whether you love it or not, that's where I live. That's my lane. Um, the Lange Lane comes uh, across really, really strong in here. I don't know what it is as I'm looking at the notes. I don't know what it is. And perhaps it's just the combination of things that makes it come across like that petroleum gassy thing it's got going on. But um, I like it. Um, rubbery kind of in a way. But that's my girl. I, I rock it. I like it. But I have to be in the mood for it. I'm talking about the moon got to be just right in the sky. It got to be the right day of the week and the right time. And I have to be like, everything has to all, everything has to be aligned for me to reach for that fragrance. <laughs> it has to happen to have been the case um, in the past week or so. And I, I've worn it. Um, moving on. What's up next? Fenty. Fenty. I'm sure you all are familiar with this. Fenty by Fenty. Um, out of R R Rihanna's whole brand. Um, this is a Sheeper Floral. Uh, came out 2021. Uh, top notes are Blueberry and Tangerine. Um, mids are Bulgarian Rose, Geranium, and Magnolia. Base notes are Musk and Patchouli. This is my baby right here. I love this one. This one is just can, can do no wrong. It is very, very pleasant to me. It reminds me a bit of Calvin Klein's Euphoria. Um, I feel like there's a regular Euphoria and there's one that's a little darker. Like, and I don't know if it's intense or, you know, maybe I'll look that up. It, it, it's rem reminiscent of that a bit to me, but it does its own thing. I appreciate the blueberry note in here. I think it gives it a uniqueness. This smells so beautiful. So, so grown up and, but still flirty and fruity and inoffensive to me. I think it wears best at dusk into the evening, but can be pulled off in the day. I mean, I wear it during the day, but that's just because I don't necessarily care. Um, I really, really enjoy this. Even just smelling it out of the cap. This, this is really pretty to me. I like it. Fenty by Fenty. Um, let's see here. See how much time I have left. Um, Caramel Orchid by uh, Kim Kardashian. Now, this is from the Jeff Leatham collection. Um, I just thought I'd show you all the cool little bo uh, boxes. I thought the presentation was really nice on this. So I don't keep the boxes to all my fragrances, but when they're interesting enough, I'll, I'll keep them. Um, this was one for me. I thought the presentation was great. I love these little bottles that come in. Um, I don't pull for this often. This is... This is for my girls who don't like strong fragrances. Like, I have a cousin like that um, who will smell stuff and be like, mm, that's strong. That I cannot conceive of. Okay, I've never smelled a fragrance and said, woo, that's too strong. Never. Never. <laughs> but this is going to be for, the, for the, uh, those of you. My sisters who prefer a fragrance that wears a little closer to you, something that's just for you, so that you can smell yourself, or if someone's in your intimate space, they can smell you, but you don't necessarily like to, you know, 
imposed on, on the space you're in. This is one of those. Um, Caramel Orchid. Uh, came out 2022. Top notes, Caramel, Cacao, Divana, and Salt. Mids are Heliotrope, Ylang Ylang, Jasmine. Base notes are Vanilla, Cashmere, Wood, and Musk. Um, it reminds me a little bit of what... Um, of that Billie Eilish fragrance. It reminds me of that sort of. Um, I'm just trying to give you all a reference for um, the sort of family of fragrances it's in. This is very, this, this is not anything spectacular. It, it's giving body splash, if you ask me. It doesn't even smell. It's just, I'm assuming this is an EDT. No, it's an EDP. It's, it's, it's a bunch of nothing, but it works. I wear it to work. Because I work in an office sort of suite situation where one of the ladies um, I work with is extremely sensitive to fragrance. And I'm talking about drama. Drama. <coughs> Did you put something on out there? Did you put something on out there? It is very aromatic. It is very ar aromatic. I'm just sitting there rolling my elbow. Just go ahead and die. Don't fight it. Succumb. Go ahead and just let it happen. <coughs> Um, anyway, so I wear that one for that purpose because it does wear really, really closely to me and, and, I, and in my own little tiny bubble, but it's no fun to me. I don't wear it often, man, nah, but it works this time of year because it's got that sweet thing going on. Blah, 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 blah. Um, next up is Turmeric Latte by, by Lush. I like this. I'm going to get the big one of this. I don't, I want to, that and, um... You have a couple other ones I want. I want coffee cardamom. Cardamom coffee, I think. Yes, cardamom coffee. But that one's up there um, in price. I want that. Um, there's something else with this I really appreciate. I think it's like American cream. Something like that. I love their rose jam. You know. Um, there's a, a couple of them I like, but... Um, this is the only one I have right now. I am going to get this in a larger size. This, to me, I don't know if it, to anybody else, but this smells to me like a smoother, like a smoothed out version of Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. Like all, all of the rough edges are mellowed out here. This is much more wearable in my opinion. I like Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille um, a lot, actually, but it, it is a little... In the open, and it can be a bit much. And it, this one sort of skips right. Like, it dries down real nice and mellow, but the opening can be a lot on that one. This one, if you want, it just sort of starts right in the, in the sweet spot where it's creamy. and oh, I, just, I like this a lot. I, I'm, I'm definitely going to get a big one of this. I like this. Uh, Turmeric latte. Uh, let's, let me tell you what's in here. Um, uh, like launched in 2019. The notes here are tonka bean, vanilla, turmeric, benzoin. Did this say anything? Oh boy, oh boy, who can see that? I probably wouldn't even be able to see this with my glasses on. I thought they listed, maybe I'm, I don't know why I thought they had the notes. I thought this was one of the brands that put the notes on their bottle. Guess not, but tonka bean, vanilla, turmeric, benzoin. Yeah, but in fact, let me look on for a grain to get. What do people say this reminds them of? Because this smells like tobacco beneath to me. Yep, right on the top. Tobacco beneath. Um, Arabesque by the Merchant of Venice. Bunch of other stuff. But yeah, so it's not, I'm not crazy. This reminds me of tobacco beneath. So if you're looking for a cheaper alternative to that, you may, you may try this. I think this runs in the range of... Don't give me the line. This is one one ounce, sixty dollars or so, sixty sixty five dollars, something like that. But yeah, I like it. Turmeric latte by Lush. And yes, I'm in the Lush store where you get bath bombs and all those little massage bars and stuff. That place, yeah, this this wears really nicely. It, it carries in the air really really well. It's a beautiful experience to me this time of year. Spicy and warm, and it, it's just really nice. Um. Honey, I Wash the Kids, also a lush fragrance. This one reminds me of Gourmand Bacour by uh, Jusette. Um, Gourmand Bacour, for me, smells like 
warm oatmeal, like warm oatmeal with brown sugar and lots of heavy cream and maybe like uh, maybe some cinnamon and spices, some dates and raisins and stuff like that in it. That's the and butter and definitely butter. That's what gourmand bacour smells like to me. Um, this is very similar, but this one has sort of a floral aspect, some some little floral freshy thing going on in there to sort of cut through it a little bit and makes it a little more wearable to me than gourmand bacour. I love gourmand bacour. I don't wear it outside. Um, I wear it in the house just because I want to smell the smell. There's some days where I just want to smell something straight ahead gourmand with no. No chaser. <laughs> so I'll wear that in the house and just and just enjoy the smell of myself. But I, I, I don't take that fragrance outside. I just, it, I can't think of a context where Gourmand Bacour would make any sense. Um, or me with my whole aesthetic. It just don't go together. But I like it. I do like this as well. Same thing. I will, um, it's not meant for uh, spraying on, but I'll spray it on a little pillow and on myself and stuff like that because I like smelling it. Um, uh, again, I don't know why I thought Lush was a brand that, um, has their notes on their packaging. They do not. Um, so this one, the notes are toffee, honey, caramel, vanilla, Brazilian orange, bergamot. So it's probably that bergamot I'm getting at that, that burst of, like it, it cuts through it and gives it its a uh, freshness that that's not in gourmand bacour. Gourmand bacour is just a ball of dense, warm, sweet. This is also dense, warm, and sweet, but it's got something in there giving it a little, a little breathing room, you know, create a little air filter through it. <laughs> like if that makes any sense, that's sort of how I think of fragrances in terms of texture a lot of times. And this one, um. I like it. I like this. They say orange and bergamot, but it smells even lemony to me a little bit. But that's that, honey. I wash the kids. Um, I think this is the only one I haven't done, right? This is the only one I haven't done. And this one's not one for granted. It's it's from my place, the bone where I get my signature uh, patchouli lavender vanilla fragrance from. Um. I don't know if they have locations outside of New York. I know they've begun selling Sebon products in, in terms of their uh, their body care, like their uh, I've seen their lotions and little creams, and maybe they sell the bath salts and stuff in Ulta now. But I haven't seen them the fragrances go anywhere else. So when I want it, I either order online or I go to New York to get my stuff. Um, but this one is where they it's a seasonal release they have um, that I picked up when I was in New York two, three weeks ago or so. Blush Gourmand. <sighs> so glad to have stumbled upon this. Because there's a fragrance um, at L'Occitan. You know, L'Occitane, L-O-C-C-I-T-A-N-E. Um, there's a couple fragrances there I wore many years ago. Um, I need to get another. Um, yeah, I'm going to go get that. But, side note. Um, there is, a, they have a body oil. Like, it's like a, a oil and um, they have a nice thick body cream in there. Their almond, that almondy scent they have. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Um, that I always go there and wish, like, why don't y'all have this in an EDP of some sort? Like, y'all are missing an opportunity. People would buy this. This scent is incredible, and they don't have it. C'est bon. This smells exactly like that almond oil. So, it, this is called Blush Gourmand. <sighs> it's a seasonal release. Uh, again, I told you I got this two, three, and then I may be getting that wrong. Let me see. What, when did I go? I was there maybe November 19th, around then. And, and this is how much I've used already of this. And this ain't even what I went there for. I went to go re-up my patchouli lavender vanilla. Look at that. You see that? I like this stuff. There's no notes listing for it. Perhaps I should have looked up. I'm looking on Fragrantica. I probably should have looked up on their actual website. Um, to see what their nose listing is, but it's no almondy to me. It smells fresh, fresh. <laughs> it smells fresh. It smells fresh, almondy, and I don't know what else is in there, but I like it. This is really, really lovely. This is so good, so good. Another one of those things I wear, and it's like, oh, you smell so nice. So I could smell your trail when you were walking by. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um. I like that, but, but these are just a few of the things I've been rocking in the past 
couple weeks that I've uh, been away from you all, I will try, try to stay in the mind frame of getting on here regularly. I'm not very good at it. You have to bear with me. I'm, I'm easily distracted and I get focused on other things or I go down these rabbit holes of thinking like, what is the meaning of all this? What is my motivation really? Am I being like, um, I don't know. Like I, I'm really, really careful about how people are consuming me. You know what I mean? Just because the social media culture or just, you know, the us for us, us being a, creating the content for other people, it's bad enough keeping up with the Joneses. I don't want to ever be a person who causes other people to feel the need to try and keep up or like, well, I don't want to be like, or I like her. She has this or she said this no good. So I'm going to go by like, where are we supposed to get all this money from? Like, <laughs> I buy my fragrances really, really, really spaced out from each other. I've been collecting for years. I know that this is a new, forgive me, I'm ringing a little bit, but you know, it's, it's a fad, you know, lately now all of a sudden everybody's jumping on the fragrance bandwagon and we calling it a fragrance journey and putting all this language around it and shit like that. But it really is, um, it, it, don't, don't force yourself to, 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 it's not a good habit. <laughs> like it's not like it's it's really really hard to come out from. I, my I've accrued my collection again over years and 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 years. I didn't just start collecting fragrances, so I have so much stuff because I've been collecting so long. It's not I'm not buying it. It's not you know oh it's pandemic we're all at home bored. You know it's popular to collect fragrances now, so now I'm buying up. Let's not do that. Like I don't want to encourage that, and I don't want to be on here. Causing people to spin recklessly or, you know, just don't. You'll never be satisfied. I swear to you. I swear to you. Fragrance is so connected to the pleasure centers in your brain and, you know, memory and all of that stuff. Like, it, it's really, really easy to become really, really impulsive and really obsessive when it comes to fragrance. Do yourself a favor. Don't. You don't want this obsession. It's here and there treating yourself to something. Is your birthday coming up? Are you buying a gift for a friend or... Uh, whatever the case is, but don't become overindulgent. And I have to check myself on it often. Like this part of the reason I went on this little mini hiatus is like, let me look away for a little while because I want to, I want to default back to my normal pace. Like the way I was buying fragrances before I started reviewing as I came across them. That's how I would get fragrances. I wouldn't be sitting watching uh, videos of people list 50 things. And I'm like, Oh, I want to have that. Oh, that's good. Gotta have that. Gotta have that. And I'm up at night scrolling. Look at, no, yeah. I, um, um, very, very conscious of things like that. Discipline is extremely important to me, and I don't like anything that has potential to govern ha my habits. Um, it, anything, be, be it alcohol or smoking or, or fucking or anything like that. Like, you, I always have to check my motivation toward doing a particular thing and make sure it's not aligned with some psychological lack, some need. Am I depressed? Am I lonely? Am I bored? Do I need to find something else to do? Like, these things go hand in hand. So just, you know, don't ever get on here and see me. You know, I, I put on a little lipstick and get in front of the camera and be like, oh, she saw this, she saw that. And then you're thinking of me when you're buying fragrances. I don't want that to be the case. I don't. <laughs> I don't. Um, I'm, I'm here for the community. If this is what you're into already, that's fine. But don't, please don't start a bad habit on counting me, okay? Okay, I love you dearly. I care about your mental health first. Your, uh, your coin purse first. <laughs> Mine too, child. Um, so I'm going to do this at the pace that makes sense for me. I, I, I'm not going to pressure myself to be on here every week. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to enjoy my fragrances in real time as I always have. If I come across something that's wonderful to me, I will share it with you. Or if I just feel like talking, this isn't a hobby for me. I do enjoy it. I enjoy the community. I enjoy you all. Blah, blah, blah. Um, I've talked enough. Um, I will try to get on next Sunday for you guys. Um, but until then, comment below. You know any of these? You uh, interested in any of them? Is there anything you know that maybe I should check out? Blah, 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 blah. I'm in there for the community. That is what it's about to me. Till next upload. Hope you're well. Deuces.